just going to do a little short demonstration to show viewers how much power these plasma TVs draw. So I've got this one turned on. I have no signal input. We'll show you the power consumption with this relatively black screen and then we'll put various pictures on and we'll see how the picture content Im impacts how much power these things draw. So right now I have this plugged into my kilowatt meter that will show me how much power is being drawn. There we go. You'll see drawing 237 between 234 and 237 watts. This is as the logo bounces around the screen. It fluctuates slightly, but about 235, 236 watts. Now, let's see what happens when we apply a signal to, to the uh, unit. We'll see how much power it draws as we put various signals on here. Now I've got the searching for signal banner showing on the screen. And as you can see, the power consumption has now gone up to about 250 watts. So let's put something a little more substantial than this banner on the screen. This time I'll just put up a menu from uh, my tablet. And we'll see that with that menu, this sucker is drawing 355 watts. Shall we put up something with a little more color on the screen? Good old stair step from my HDTV calibrator app. 366 watts and as I cycle through whoops, as I cycle through the different it probably went up higher there, didn't it? Why <laughs> Because that was a brighter screen. Uh, yeah, 437 watts. This is just a, a logo. I haven't even got it to a full white screen yet. I, I'm scared to think of what the sucker is going to draw when I put up a full white screen. But let's just see, 430 watts. So 386, this is my contrast screen. 387, this is for for uh, a stair step color screen. So we're still only putting a portion of our picture. Is, uh, is We aren't even peak white yet. We're still stair stepping through here and we're at 385 watts. Okay, I've got a white screen on now, and as you can see, this sucker is drawing about 460 watts. That's a lot of power. So, people wonder why their electric bill goes so high when they get to a big TV. These plasmas were really quite uh, power hungry. This is only a 50 inch. The Larger ones tended to draw a little more power than that. Pretty uh, energy inefficient as far as televisions go. I still myself personally do like the picture. I've taken the white screen off there at the moment. But uh, I still do personally like the picture quality from the plasmas myself. But... Um, yeah, they, they do tend to draw a little bit of power, even if I make the screen black, which it is now, it's going to still draw, you know, about 250 watts just sitting there idle. So not something that you want to leave turned on for uh, any period of time. Let's take a look at what color bars will do to this. So here we go. This is NTSC color bars that I've got on the screen here, 410 watts. For your standard NTSC color bars. This is just from a color bar generator and uh, as you can see uh, it's drawing 410 watts. So um, yeah if you wonder why your power bill goes up because of these big TVs well they draw a lot of power. Now conventional LCD TVs are no better. The LED back that ones draw substantially less power but conventional LCD backlit or with conventional fluorescent backlights they, they they draw about as much power in fact they'll draw a constant power of around 400 watts 425 watts constantly regardless 
what is on the screen. Whereas a plasma TV will vary anywhere from about 200 to 450 depending on the screen brightness. But now you can see that's what these things draw and uh, it ain't pretty.